Welcome back to Mega Monkey Gamer. And today, I'm going to be looking at some more fake Minecraft speedruns. Wow, joy. I can't wait to see these people absolutely suffer at Minecraft. Let's just get into it. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Funniest fake Minecraft speedrun. This speedrun looks normal, but it's not. They spawn in, find a village, and get some hay. Then the speedrunner starts punching this tree, and there's a okay, very normal so far. Where in a matter of seconds we go from the tree Goof to countdown the one. To a crafting table. Nothing seems different, but just wait. This is their cheating warm up. As they approach an iron goal, uh, uh, uh. it sounds like they're doing breathing exercises to physically prepare for the battle. The only problem here is that they built two blocks. Up, not three, so the golem can still hit them. Yeah. But just watch. What up? Oh, I totally legit. So they make some food, an iron pickaxe, and a bucket. But hang on a second. Did you catch that? When they make their iron pickaxe, they use up all of their iron. And after a very Wait, what? subtle cut, they suddenly have four iron ingots out of thin air. Either this guy is a magician, uh. or he's the worst cheater in the world. But I honestly don't know. He could be a magician. Watch this. According to my calculations, if I mine down from this spot, I will fall into gravel. Oh, and would you look at that? I'm assuming this was the same luck that Dream had in his speedruns too. The speedrunner crafts flint and steel and begins nope. building the villager house. You're just a big vat cheater. If I no. The last few seconds in slow motion, there is another sly cut from this goofy goober. And this guy's middle name must be Creative Mode because you can just barely see that they changed their game mode again. Yeah. Well, inside this chest is nothing spectacular, just a hunk of emeralds, which begs the question: Why did they go in Creative Mode? Well, these next few moments are the goofiest speedrun strats. Question: Why did they go in Creative Mode? Well, these next few moments are the goofiest yeah. speedrun strats of all time. They're just like, I'm gonna cheat. I want to be Minecraft faster. Slinky, but he should honestly consider changing it to Stinky. You saw it here first. The world's first one in a million villager trade. And with their newly found diamonds, they craft full diamond armor and tools. As if this speedrun wasn't already bad enough. Oh my gosh. It's the worst acting of all time. Oh no, it's going down the road. Uh, wait, wait, what's this? The speedrunner fell into a huge cave filled with literally every resource needed to make a nether portal. So naturally, they attempt to make a portal. Emphasis on attempt. Oh, come on. And I kid you not, they actually wasted time on the clock watching a nether portal tutorial. This is just so embarrassing. After lots of practice, though, of I never do that strat. I just collect the obsidian and build the portal myself. I know that's not a speedrun strat, but I don't speedrun. The speedrunner is in the nether now, and I think they're gonna try and channel some of that dream luck from earlier because they start to mine into a random. Let me guess, netherite. And watch what happens. You're gonna run into Agent Debris, aren't you? No. So the speedrunner explores the nether fortress and finds a blaze. That would have been even more cheaty if you found Ancient Debris. I guess they just couldn't wait any longer. As the speedrun is cut and they receive a special delivery of a whopping 64 blaze rods. And he changes game mode again, I think. And if you were to ask me if the speedrun gets worse, just watch this. Yeah, he said his game mode again. Totally different area and they suddenly have 23 gold ingots. So the speedrunner throws Also, he's an idiot for not wearing gold. And they get exactly 16 ender pearls. For each trade there is a 2.18% chance of getting two to four ender pearls. To get 16 pearls from four gold ingots, this guy must be the luckiest man on earth. Or his name is Drew. Let's go back to the nether portal now. Uh, He's a big fat like cheater. Actually find the nether portal, so he just I gave himself obsidian. Whenever you feel like you've hit a low in life, just remember this speedrun exists. Now that the speedrunner is back in the overworld, they craft eyes of ender and attempt locating the stronghold. They dig straight down. Oh my the gosh. Room, straight up find it? Oh my gosh. Will the speedrunner propose to the Ender Dragon, throw a meatball at Minecraft Steve, or legally change his name to Gooby? He legally Alright, just like that, guys. We have killed the Ender Dragon. Well, that was definitely the most speedrun of all time. Wait, what? Oh, uh, no. They An another one of these clips. They beat an Illager Raid and ride a minecart to the stronghold. Then the speedrunner climbs on the wall and shoots a bunch of air. Wait, this is the wrong footage. This speedrun that yeah, it is. Really <laughs> just watch and you'll see. They spawn on what appears to be the roof of a villager house, correct? 
connection. That can happen. But, uh, for some reason, this block hey. is just missing. This yep, that's to totally fake. Here. So the speedrunner enters the weaponsmith house and opens this chest. See, it wasn't a chunk error. If I had a penny for every time I've had to watch a speedrunner get full netherite armor, I'd have enough pennies to give to every single one of my subscribers. Also, I just have to point out, listen to what the speedrunner calls the totem of indying. Oh, netherite armor! I'm clever that is, that weird-looking ogre thing. From here on out, I will only <laughs> refer to totems as weird-looking ogre things. The speedrunner equips their newly found armor, but watch Oh my gosh. See if you notice what so fake. Here. Yeah, there is a very subtle cut to the speedrun, which is made evident you... by the fact that... I the wish that would happen, but it doesn't. Netherite is just difficult to get, grow, and it's gonna be, get even difficult. More, it's gonna, it's gonna get even more harder. So the speedrunner collects this hay, then they follow the path leaving the village. Wait, why are they staring at this wall? Yet another cut in the speedrun, and come on, man, did you think I wouldn't notice you change the hay to golden apples? If you're wondering if this gets worse, spoiler alert, it, it does. They turn yeah. around, and there's an unusually tall nether portal that just poofed itself into existence. <laughs> I guess staring at walls is the best and newest speedrun strategy. <laughs> the just speedrunner built... steps into their portal. What are these? I can't with these. Uh, this is not the nether. Was there a new update I didn't hear about? We should honestly start a GoFundMe page for the speedrunner because I think their computer is just broken. Their timer doesn't work, their nether portal malfunctioned. What next? The speedrunner jumps down this hole and luckily they do find a working nether portal depending on your definition of working. So they enter their bootleg nether and it's oh, everything the real I know how they did that. Maze, lava, a magical frog wizard. Yeah, you're probably wondering how they get 65 blaze rods. Mikey, roll the clip. If you look into the lava, everything after the speedrunner gets their blaze rods I from can't. the miraculous toad, you can probably notice their nether portal is just suddenly working again. So they enter it and Don't, just, I just stop. This next part, where do you think it's going to take them? Just, just take a wild guess. The nether, the overworld, McDonald's. Oh man, how did the speedrunner know I love McDonald's? Yeah, I get a Big Mac with large fries and a chocolate nip. Uh -huh. Okay, sorry, back to the speedrunner. They get eyes of Ender, portal frames and a beef patty from the villager i mean mcdonald's employee he went to mcdonald's what emphasis on tries they try building their portal again successfully entering the end and the rest of the speed run is pretty standard stuff you know they go into creative mode their timer malfunctions for the 50th time and they beat the game in a whopping 3.82 seconds now that that's over i'm gonna go get some mcdonald's this speed run i have so many questions they immediately go underground to mine for diamonds and what do you know they find oh. diamonds but they discover an the speedrun just started, I bet. I bet. So the speedrunner explores this area, finding a Imagine he mined the bedrock. The void. Is that the void or a block? They jump into the hole, and uh, Minecraft is looking a little different here. Is this a new update to the game, or am I missing something? What the heck? I clearly missed some big updates to the game. This speedrunner gets very lucky by spawning right in front what? of a ruined He just went to Subnautica, what? The speedrunner instead uses their debug screen to locate a buried treasure chest. 90% of oh my. subscribe, just do it. Oh my gosh, wow, that was terrible to watch. I can't believe people actually do that in Minecraft speedruns. Uh, yeah, I, I feel the same way this guy does. This early, yeah. So yeah, that was it for the video. Make sure to like and subscribe and turn on those notifications. And Clubbish Sister is behind me. Anyway, yeah. Subscribe and goodbye. I'll see you guys in the next video.